Hey, hello, friend, and welcome back once again to Str Cauldrons of War <laughs> Stalingrad. Well, it's a habit, I guess. Uh, this is a special bonus episode, once again, brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pum Narao. Uh, if you would like to see additional content as well, that's patreon.com. See which level of support suits you. For every $10 donated, I'll make an extra video each month. So that should be uh, reasonable, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's get started down here. I need to break through. And... Took a reasonable amount of uh, stuff from them. Um, this, this is the biggest group, group uh, mutton clot. This infantry is now bygone. I guess we'll do Kirch first and then we'll focus on Sevastopol. This is pinned, pinned, pinned. There's not much to do there. Let's start in Leningrad. I'll just do a refit. Eventually, I, I do want to break through to Leningrad anyway. What do we have in the center? We have 4th Army in reserve, 59th Corps, and that. Mm. Let's just start with a refit. Well, I guess a refit for them too. And the south, I could allocate some units. Um, there is the third Romanian Corps and Cavalry Corps. Those are, for the moment, the biggest units. This is the second Hungarian. Hmm. I could already assign the second Hungarian to fall blau phase one. These guys also cannot move yet. Um, and I guess I want these guys there too. Same for the Slovak Mobile Division. Helping the 6th Army. The violence of the attack on Kharkov took us by surprise. General Paulus even momentarily lost his temper when he warned the High Command that the 6th Army was fighting for its survival. The situation would not be so worrying if one of our largest supply poles was not located less than 20 kilometers away from the Soviet troops. Considerable amounts of fuel, ammunition, and supplies accumulated there for months in anticipation of the Blau plan could fall into the hands of the enemy. A transient alert or a real threat? At the general staff, opinions are divided. Should we immediately launch Operation Fredericus on the ECM salient to reduce the pressure on the 6th Army and surround the Soviets, or should we continue our preparations for the main offensive without being distracted? If we continue our preparations, the 17th Army and 1st Panzer Army gain one in supply, they will be pinned down and gain one in creation and supplement their numbers. Or if we launch Fredericus, 17th Army is no longer pinned, 1st Panzer Army is no longer pinned, Fredericus is launched, and Army Group South. Um, yeah, let's just launch Fredericus. The choice of action seems to have swept away the spirit of doubt that assailed our soldiers. The Panthers launched themselves into a great encircling movement, which, if carried out with diligence, will lock the Soviets off Izium and Kharkov in a big bag. State of preparations, Fall Blau Phase 1, Second Army, Less Starless Attrition, Fourth Panzer Army 2, Second Hungarian Army, um, these Italian units, a lot less road to Rostov, Figures Group Suit, plus five trucks, plus one rail capacity. Let's start in the north. 
Um, I have to go, I guess, through all of this. They have air superiority here. What is this? Uh, Division Azul. Third Shock Army refit. Fifth and Corps went there. Air superiority for the Soviets. Nothing. First and Corps arriving. 13th Army Retreat. I am a bit surprised that they can already move, but okay. Sevastopol's Navy to the front. Well, they're only disputing air superiority. That wiped them out. And I assume that I can just uh, do process progress in one go here. The Soviet bridgehead was eliminated, freeing many German and Romanian troops for further operations. So these guys are now at Sevastopol. Mm. I haven't done anything here yet. I have one rail. Um, let's just refit them. Start doing some shell. So, I, yeah, they lost some artillery there. Then in the north, I'm not really inclined to do anything else. Is this north or center? North. Let's just keep shelling. center. The question is, do I want the fourth army here? Well, let, let's just see. So I have no clue why that even happened. I also have the 57th army. And then they also had these guys sm smashing there. This is very weird. guess did that wipe them out I guess not they have a lot huh. three left I mean, I have four rail line here. The chance that they... One thing I could do is I could do supply another attack and then close it up. Um, of the first panzer army swallowed miles without taking a slightest rest at this rate they will soon cross the country the red army or at least those units that escaped the wehrmacht's net were pushed back beyond the donuts the front line is now clearly defined and the german units will be able to rush east without fearing for the safety of their flanks the soviet forward spirits in the Kharkov offensive have gotten themselves isolated or caught in the trap um i i guess yeah all of them are now isolated And they all have exposed flanks, and then these are also in Kessel. 
So that's everything for the south. Uh, that means also that these guys will be able to recover still, since they haven't done anything there, except that the enemy has retreated already one of their armies. Well, not much can be done about that. I mean... The... Um, Soviets at Kharkov need to be beaten. It's like five armies. I don't know why I don't have any music. Can't see whether it's on or off. That's kind of the weird thing. I don't hear any music, but anyway, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it was pretty unlikely to do a whole lot. Let's just refed them for now. Save so preparation. Second, fourth, second, uh, second army, fourth Panzer army, second Hungarian. A lot of these. Mm -hmm. We'll be ready soon. May 21st. That's Sevastopol. They have defense in debt. Strategic reserve, those guys are retreating. In here, they seem to be killing themselves. Lost one infantry here. Weird how the 59th is no longer in a castle or whatever. These guys are. Not really sure how that works. These guys are going to the Briansk front. So also the Moscow focus is even higher than 50. Then at Orel, third tank corps, nice tank corps, barrier troops, 32nd army refit, 34th army refit, 59th army, and Leningrad, I guess, Especially at the north. I'll just continue shelling them. And let's start that offensive. Um, these guys are probably also quite weak. I'll have to see. I mean, um, it just requires a lot of uh, points in general. All right, let's start with Fall Blau. Hmm. Maybe even not yet. Even if I do breakthrough now, I, I cannot actually then advance. I will have to wait. I will use my one point somewhere else in refitting the 17th. And in the center, I want the 4th Army to go to the south. And I think I will launch that offensive now. Apparently we have only three. Um, they're doing a night attack on the 22nd Panzer. That probably doesn't do much. them. Then there's the Navy. 
Seems to be a relatively weak unit, but I still want to, I think, refit shell them. And since these guys aren't ready, I guess I'll take it on the 3rd of June. Can't resupply them by rail. Right, so the only thing is that I cannot walk in there, unfortunately, this turn. That kind of sucks. It would have been nice to take it now, but, um, well, nothing can be done. Here, they went away again. So they have even less troops there now. At Kharkov, they did a lot of smashing. Destroyed one of my artillery. Sixth Army is in desperate need of a refit. Well, they only have the 49th Army left here. So in reality, I would rather just go splits. They actually did lose a lot. So I'm actually kind of confident, or somewhat confident, that... Okay, well, um... That kills them. And I have no more uh, movement points. And uh, uh, let's start here, or well, they're just pushing towards it. They're just getting more units ready. Shelling is then not so bad. Refit. Reserve. I mean, I do need to check all of these individually, see what happens. I would almost start thinking that I can take these even without the heavy guns, but I don't think so. Let's refit the 39th motorized car. Actually, I could probably use that somewhere else to, to good effect. Mm, so I would rather do that. Meanwhile, I'll just continue to wait on the enemy. June 4th. I'll be ready soon. Well, like I said, if we're at 4 and I can just walk in there, I might as well just refit. Refit. And progress. Sebastopol has finally fallen. Sweet. So these units are now in here. Oh, I guess I can refit like this too. Well, it didn't matter then. Let's refit the armor. I also hope to refit uh, Group of Mutton Float, but we'll see how that goes. Then here, two tank or. Uh, that's impressive. Not quite sure how they're going there, but okay. They just randomly got these. Uh, and they decided to get the 61st army in here. Uh, okay, fine. So 
keep on shelling and send these over to Ingescopa Mita. Can't really do anything else there. Then probably from Mita they'll be going to the south, but um, there's nothing I can do here now. These guys are still retreating, but I, I can't really move further. Like, sure, if I want to attack, but that's not... Uh, Right, so let's do Hedgehog Defense Blitz. And the objectives have been reached. The operation is then over. Race along the Don. With the Don River on their left to guard their flank, the German troops are racing across the steppe to trap as many Soviet armies as possible in a large pocket in the river loop. And then here we have the second army in, where is this? The Sosna River, beyond the Sosna River. Okay, that's kind of weird. Could approach Moscow from the south. I don't. I don't think so. Anyway, while we're not doing anything, I might just as well refit these since we still also still have two way line. It's still kind of weird that these guys are still there like that. Or <laughs> they they're clearly encircled. Anyway. Let's send these over to Iriscope Suit. Okay. And it again didn't achieve much. Next turn, Sevastopol is taken. Uh, Sevastopol has fallen. This important event immediately increased the confidence of Axis soldiers. The huge means employed to support the siege can now be employed to support our offensive towards the east. Croatia's creation of Axis forces plus one. Strategic rail capacity of Arm Group South, or Arm Group A plus one. Command points plus one. Axis cohesion plus five. The Soviet southern fortress is ours. Where to send the 11th? The mission of the 11th Army was to take the Crimea. Now that Sevastopol has fallen, its job is done. The 11th Army can now join our operations towards Mias, Rostov, and then the Caucasus, but at the high command, alternative ideas are bursting. Yodel, returning from a trip to Finland, thinks that it's possible to reactivate operations around Leningrad in order to re-involve our floundering Finnish ally. In addition, these units have been seasoned to urban combat in Sevastopol, which will be very useful in Leningrad. Another option would be to prepare for Operation Blucher, a landing on the Taman Peninsula, which would allow the 11th Army to take the makeup oil fields in if part of the troops were sent to Leningrad. A small-scale Blucher plan could be maintained with the remaining units. This option will require significant air cover to protect our troops during transport. Hitler himself seemed to hesitate between these different options. Hmm, can I even send the armor south? Doesn't look good. The Great Blucher Plan is being studied. Be activated in three weeks. Or we can send part of it to Leningrad. Access creation plus 10. The 11th is split into divisions, of which four are sent to Leningrad. Crimean Air Force passed Arm Group A. Or south. Strategic objectives in the north are activated. A little Blucher may be activated. Let's send part of it to Leningrad. Uh, because I want to get points for taking the city. I believe you get two points, and then it also increases access cohesion and stuff. So I, I think that's good, because then we can get the uh, the Turkish forces in there. Should we take Voronezh? A few days travel from our troops' positions extends the region of Voronezh. This city is an important railway junction for the Soviets, so the capture of the city by the Wehrmacht would greatly complicate the logistics of the Red Army. The region also has an important Soviet aircraft factories. Finally, attacking the city would deceive the enemy about their intentions by making them believe that Moscow is our main objective. While von Bock is a strong supporter of attacking the city, Hitler and Halder believed that the capture of Voronezh would distract us from our main objective. 
to surround and destroy the enemy in the Dawn Loop while we are engaged in a speedy race with an enemy en route. You can either take Vornesh, opens the Vornesh capture operation, increases the Soviet's conviction of an attack on Moscow, and Vornesh is now worth a point, or we could continue. Let's take Vornesh. Developer's notes, Vornesh. Vornesh is not the first time the Germans have let themselves be distracted by a secondary objective to the point of derailing their main offensive. The Vornesh episode does indeed seem like a repeat of Kalinin during the offensive towards Moscow in 1941. Historically, German mobile units allowed themselves to be drawn into street battles for which they were unprepared, instead of rushing along the Don. In-game, you have some incentive to make the same mistake. Disrupting Soviet logistics, trying to grab a victory point in the process, increasing your opponent's focus on Moscow, etc. It's up to you to decide if these reasons are sufficient to delay your progress towards Stalingrad. Um, consternation in the Pacific. The Japanese have just suffered a major setback in the Pacific, off Midway, where a major naval battle has just taken place. Japanese losses are heavy, several aircraft carriers and a heavy cruiser. After such a defeat, Japan is forced into a defensive stance. If the Japanese government is very discreet about this battle, the American newspapers are making headlines about the destruction of the enemy fleet. The Japanese can only handle the Americans for so long, and the chances of future Allied landings in Europe have further increased. Our time is running out, and Axis creation minus 5. Um... Let's take a quick look. They, I guess, put these guys back to the front. They should be. They're not isolated. Okay. Well, some refitting. Defense in that. Barrier troops. A tank and reserve. Just checking for all of these if there is anything interesting going on. They got the fourth tank corps in there. There is something in Voronezh. Uh, and then at Kharkov, uh, there's nothing. Fourth Panzer is back. Um, hmm. Okay. All right, this, that, that unit died, but this is becoming a bit of a problem. I need to uh, fix this up as well. And then in here, they have only one more army. I mean, I know that they have four units that went away, but I, I cannot assault these, so. And then Crimea, I cannot do anything. Um, all right, uh, for now, I want to thank you for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters, Boon Rao, Dish Bastard, Sea Data, Swords, Mending, and Thomas Lovetrain. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.